Hello guys, welcome back to the Domain Racer and this video is specially built to understand you what is the difference between VPS managed WordPress and managed VPS. So watch this video very carefully because at the end of this video we are going to show you how you can able to reduce your cost and how you can able to manage by yourself. There are a lot of ways are available but still this video actually covering what is the difference between managed versus unmanaged VPS. So let's begin. Before start we need to know what is the benefit of VPS hosting. The very first benefit you will get root access. So if you purchase this plan you will get a root access means you can able to manage your server by yourself. You have a full control of server. Next you will get a dedicated resources like one CPU it's for you. 2 GB RAM, it's yours. So 20 GB storage, it's yours. The next thing, you can easily scale your VPS hosting. If your business grow, you need a better hardware. So upgrade can be possible very easily. That is the benefit of VPS. Next security, DDoS protection comes with the VPS and the dedicated IP that is the most important. That makes your server uptime higher. And the last performance. Always make sure that while choosing a VPS, go with SSD best VPS because that gives you almost 3x faster and better performance. Now the time comes for what is the exact difference between managed and unmanaged VPS hosting. Whereas unmanaged VPS, it simply means maintenance and upgradation has been taken care by web hosting providers for example if you are using an e-commerce based application so whatever the things needed for that e-commerce application will get installed and if needed to upgrade the server applications that time if web hosting providers will do that is called managed VPS if you will do by yourself that is called unmanaged VPS now the factor if you comes to a costing mechanism, the costing of managed VPS is always higher. Why this is so? The reason is very simple. The servers need experienced persons to manage. Whereas the hosting providers use the highest expertise to solve your problems. And they might be a seven plus years of experience. Because of that, managed VPS always need to be a costly. That involves some server management cost and a monthly maintenance cost. Okay, so that is called as a managed VPS. Whereas unmanaged is nothing but only purchasing a server. You can say a physical server that includes RAM, CPU, and storage. It also comes with a bandwidth. Okay, so that is like a basic difference. And now the tricky part comes whom should have to try unmanaged VPS this is the tricky part right the answer is extremely simple okay so if you have a knowledge or you can say basic knowledge of pillow factors then you can able to definitely go with unmanaged VPS and that will save your costing if you have a basic knowledge of Linux based server then you can second hand on Linux based command so like Ubuntu Fedora CentOS so this kind of OS you must have to be an little bit of command knowledge next if you knows how to configure applications or install an application onto the uh, Linux based servers then definitely you can able to go with unmanaged VPS and the lastly you need a little bit of uh, troubleshooting knowledge about the VPS if you don't know how to manage unmanaged VPS then the answers of your questions are already exist on the internet there are a lot of videos there are a lot of youtubers already created a videos on it so to make it simpler i would like to show you some sites okay so to manage your server you need a control panel and there are a lot of control panels available out of four i had picked here so first one vesta panel second one cloud drone third one c panel and fourth one direct admin these are actually sort it out based on the costing based on the free versions available and all now we will move further cpanel is the world best applications ever if you wanted to purchase a cpanel you can directly purchase from their site or you can contact our support department they will share you costing the costing it's depend on your budget so 
if you have a budget of $15 so you can able to go with this plan or you can just contact our support department our support department will give you better pricing okay these prices are monthly basis this is a software license so you cannot able to consider like VPS comes with a C panel no it cannot because C panel itself is a $15 and VPS is we are costing only for the server next if you go with a cloud drone the cloud drone actually offers you uh, some free versions so in the free version you will get uh, two application installation so that is more than enough to manage your server next Vesta panel is also offering a free of course so you can able to always choose for the free versus paid so it is based on your requirements okay so direct admin is the best alternative of uh, cpanel so it is extremely uh, cheaper so you can go with that so there are a lot of options are available so you have to decide which control panel you need for your business and then you can do a setup regarding that if you don't know how to install these applications how to do a configuration and all in upcoming days we are going to launch a lot of videos so subscribe to domain racer okay and if you need any videos videos or any solutions then also you can request by commenting below so we will definitely come up with the new solutions okay so as of now if you wanted to know how to install these applications and all you just have to go to the YouTube and search for the terms like Vesta installation and configuration you will get a lot of videos so your almost 90% part is already been solved by the youtubers and we also are working into this and because of that domain racer is the number one in the YouTube for the solutions okay so finally we had covered a lot of factors now it is your turn which one is the best for you managed or unmanaged so based on these all factors decide it and start your business definitely you will become a successful in your business have a great day press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update.